This is Divorce, Happy, and Successful, the number one spiritually focused self-empowerment podcast for divorced parents that's dedicated to helping you live the fulfilling life you deserve and experience the happiness you long for. Let's get into today's show with our host, W. Mark Watts. Hey, everybody, it's W. Mark Watts. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me for another episode of the podcast. And in today's episode, we want to answer the question, how are you doing with your resolution? You remember the goals, the plans that you have for 2017? And more specifically, the ones you have with respect to finally getting over the drama, finally getting over your divorce getting over your former spouse, eliminating all the drama, really get into that place where you can move forward and be happy again. That's what I hear everyone who reaches out to me. That's ultimately what they want. And that's what they talk about. And that's what they truly believe that they are, they really want right now more than anything. So where are you with respect to that goal? So if you made a plan at the beginning of this year, Right now, it's July. We just crossed the halfway point to the second half of the year. So if at the beginning of this year, you were still pissed off, you were still sad, lonely, upset, if you were really hurt, if you're still having the same battles and struggles and fusses and fights, regardless of what they're about, the kids, money, etc., are you still dealing with that? And when you made that plan that this year was going to be different, January, just real simply, look at it. January through June of this year, where are you right now? Are you in the same place or are you in a different place? Reason why I ask that question, and, and when I typically ask that question to people I talk to all the time, that's one of my favorite questions to ask anybody. When I talk to them via email, talk to them live, whether they're my clients or not, I always ask that question. Where are you with respect to your plan? And when I ask them that, guess what happens? I always, almost 100% of the time, the first 30 seconds to 60 seconds is pure silence. Pure silence. And then the ones who can speak, here's what they say. What do you mean? Those are the two things that happen Almost across the board, unequivocally, when I ask a prospect or a client or someone I'm just talking with, I ask them that question and that's what I get. So today's episode, I'm just going to we're going to do a little bit of coaching, a little more hardcore coaching than you might be used to me doing. But I tell you what, the second half of this year, you can expect more just like today's call. Reason why is because I'm really committed to you guys getting some different results than what you're used to and getting the results that you say that you want in your life. So the first thing is this. There's two major issues. If you look back from January to June of this year, right now in July, and you are in the same place doing the same thing, here's the first reason why. You don't have a plan. All you were doing was speaking to it. You were talking. I call it a wish. You were wishing and or hoping that things would get better, that you would be able to stop thinking about your former spouse. Stop crying. Stop being lonely. You would be able to cut out the drama and your totally your life would just be totally different. It was a wish and a hope. Why? Because you had no plan. You have no plan for making that happen. I remember clear as day, my first coach 10 years ago, when I went to him, we were having conversations and I told him I wanted to have my own business. And the first question he asked me is, what's your plan? And show it to me right now. Where is it? And you know what? I got silent for that first 60 seconds. You know why? Because I had no plan. I had no idea of what and how I was going to achieve what I wanted to achieve. And so that's where we had to start. 
You've got to have a plan for what you're trying to do, period. It cannot be talk. It cannot be wish. It cannot be hope. You have to seriously figure out what you're trying to do and put some plans and actions behind it. Number two, the second reason why, if you've evaluated what you said you wanted from January to June and you look at it and your results aren't there, here's the deal. Here's why it's happening. Because you're not evaluating the work that you're putting in. Why? Because you're not putting in the work. And that's almost kind of two in one. But if your results are the same, the very same, it's that simple. You're not, eva- you're not putting in the work and you're not evaluating. How can you know if you're getting better, if you're improving, if you're in a different place, if you're not periodically evaluating the work that you're doing. And then the flip side of that is what work are you doing? You know, it was, I was talking with someone the other day and they were complaining about the uh, lack of results they were getting, right? And they were unhappy and they were pissed and they had reasons that I call excuses why they hadn't got their results. Everything was geared towards someone else. Someone else is doing this. Someone else is doing that. Someone else is not doing this. Someone else is not doing that. So there was multiple reasons why they had not moved forward in the fashion that they wanted to in 2017. And it was because they weren't doing the work. If you're not doing the work, and evaluating the results, how do you think you're going to move forward? Period. It's not going, I can tell you what's going to happen. It's not going to happen. Now, why are you not doing the work and evaluating your results? It's for one of two reasons. Truth is this. You don't really want what you say you want, number one. And then number two, it's just that you're not getting to the root of the problem. And it could be a combination of both. So let me say that again. The truth is you really don't want the results that you said you wanted at the beginning of the year, or you're not getting to the root of the problem. So the fact that you find yourself, that we find ourselves, that I found myself facing divorce, was not rooted in simply the details of what were happening in my life at the time. The challenge, what I came to realize and understand through a lot of work and effort and coaching was there was something deeper in me and this divorce was simply the catalyst for me to improve to release, to get beyond that deeper issue that I've been struggling with for a long time and didn't really know it. So I am going to leave you with this because I'm in about the eight minute mark. I like to keep these under 10 minutes so you can get in and get out, listen to it multiple times. So here is the key. If you're still in that same place, if you're still having those same struggles, if the divorce is the major thing that's on your mind and the drama and the trouble and the struggles. It's not related to the divorce. There is something bigger, something deeper, something that goes back a long time. That's actually the issue. And so therein lies the real reason potentially, but in most cases it's the truth. Therein lies the issue with the struggles that you're having. If you can put in the work and commit to it and you can get to that root cause, then you will start to see the results. So if you're at a place right now where you're looking to really get results, I invite you to go to my website. You'll see a big red button. Click it. Schedule a free 30 minute session. Let's talk. Let's see if we can uncover 
some of those real deeply rooted issues and challenges that we all have and see if we can't help you get some movement because you can make July through December a lot better. You can make progress and be happier. Start to end that drama, the loneliness, the sadness, and just the anger and resentment. You can start moving that stuff. So it's, you still have time to reach that 2017 goal, but we got to start now. So if you really want to go start now and your January to June is the same as it was in 2016 and you really want to make some changes, check out my website, click the big web button. You'll see it. Schedule a session. Let's chat. All right. I'm out of here. I'm just so honored to be with you guys every single day. So thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I hope it's making some kind of improvement or giving you some different things to look at that might help you in just some little way because that's the goal every single day. Little bit of change, a little bit of progress each day. Before you know it, you're going to be knocking down all the doors that you ever wanted to. So until the next time that we talk, continue to do the very best for yourself and for your family. Why? That's going to lead you down the path to your own personal post-divorce paradise. And my friends, each and every one of you absolutely deserve it. So let's go get it. So until the next time we talk, take care, everybody. I look forward to talking with you again real soon. Bye now. You've been listening to the Divorce Happy and Successful Podcast. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to leave us a five-star rating and review on iTunes. Until next time, stay focused and keep moving forward.